I'm um, at Head of ICT is actually Queen's Science College, which is further just down toward Blackpool, down on Blackpool Road, past Forward, but very close to Forward, as, uh, as they point out. Um, now, why, why, why has Alan pulled me into this? Well, Alan's been pulling me into this for quite a while now, and I've been, I suppose I've resisted a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm an ICT teacher with very little background in programming, to be perfectly honest, I'm, I know very little. I'm, I'm here to learn more than anything, I'm here for the ride. Um, my, my experience of programming was back as a teenager when my parents were far too tight fisties to buy me a Commodore 64 and I, all I got was a Sinclair ZX uh, Spectrum from the Jumble sale and, and a book and they basically said, here you go, if you want to play a game, that's what you've got to do. And there was no tape recorder with it and every time you unplugged it, you lost everything that starts again. So that was where I came from and then I'm, I'm as I was saying earlier to Davies, I'm, I'm, I'm the Microsoft generation and, and a lot of my staff in my school are also the Microsoft generation and the Windows generation and I, I tried to introduce some computer components and teaching if you like into, into our curriculum last September and my staff in my school, quite a lot of them, and it's a good job in our tonight because I'm sure they crowd crawl on the tables, basically <coughs> said to me when I got this activity out of asking students to identify these computer parts and my staff said to me well, have you got the answers anywhere? And this is this is five members of staff and faculty. Have you got the answers anywhere? And I said, why? And they said, well, I don't know what they are. And these were a motherboard, a graphics card, um, you know, general bits. <coughs> they, did, they didn't know, and these are ICT teachers. Um, and I was trying to push to get computing GCSE being delivered in my school at the time. And they were petrified. And basically, I contacted Alan, found Alan, and Alan's been pulling me into this for a while. Um, so that's a bit about me, anyway. Um, and Code Dojo was something that Alan sprung on me uh, about four weeks ago, as I recall. And he basically said, I, I need some help and I need, well, I want you to do this really with me. Um, and I think, kind of, oh, okay, what's Code Dojo? Now, I didn't know that the, the dojo has been running in Preston for quite a while. Um, Jeremy, somebody has been, uh, Jeremy, yeah, is yeah. he? Is, am I, he's not here. here. No, thank God for that. Right, well, they've been running, and as I understand it, they're, they're actually quite for, for professional people. Well, Code Dojo was a movement started in Ireland uh, quite a while ago now, and then it's spread a bit like the Raspberry Jams really has, it's spread like jam, it's all across the world. Um, and it's a youth movement for getting youth, youth teenagers into coding, don't know how to code. It might not just be children, it might not be teenagers, Hopefully it's going to be people like me, and then people like you, teaching people like me, and people like in my faculty, <coughs> teachers in my faculty, who haven't got a clue about the basic components. Now, what do they do as Code Dojo? Lots of different things. And the plan is to try and start them, hopefully September, possibly October. Again, on, on a Saturday, we said, didn't we, Alan? Yes? Second Saturday well, in the month. Well, tweet, yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. The second Saturday in the month, to... Uh, at schools, not just at my school, not just Alan's school, if there's other schools on board, I had somebody from Tarleton, for example, say, yeah, I might be interested, or other places, but to get to open up the schools for these movements and just to hold it, what might be two hour, three hour session of saying, you know, Mozilla Thimble, of HTML programming for, for, for one. And then another example might be Game Maker, David, I was an expert in that already, doing that as another one setting different challenges by the end of today we would like you to be able to and then you go at it. Now the plan is to have hold these in places that have got access to a wireless network, access to computers. So rather than just you know having something on the board, this is how you do it, they're actually doing it. So that's where I'm at and that's where Alan's dragged me in and put me on the spot when I walked through the door. Oh Vicky have a have a chat tonight, can you do a little talk? We're hoping to get that started. Now we have set up um, there was a, a, an email address and a Twitter address as well. Um, so if anybody is interested, because the plan is as well to get experts in to say, hi, I am, this is what I do, I can help you do, you know, and actually get on with it and actually help teenagers or other people to actually do things rather than just standing here and talking about it. Does that make sense to everybody? And have I spoken as quickly as I think I have? Great. <laughs>